Good morning, welcome back guys, I hope you're all well. Oh my god, as soon as I start filming, my battery starts flashing, <laughs> typical. Um, I just wanted to jump on and say sorry that we haven't had a video for what seems like for ages. Um, me and Paul have been so poorly. We came down with the flu and just haven't been able to do anything. I've had no energy. It's really boring hearing people go on about being ill, I know, so I won't ramble on about it too much, but I just wanted to let you know why I haven't been on here. Um, so yeah, I'm feeling slightly more human. It's about two weeks in and not feeling too shabby. So I'm gonna go and get a food shop done. I just wanted to get the vlog started because if I don't do it now, I'll forget for the rest of the day. So I'm up, I'm in something other than leggings. I've actually got black jeans on which are very tight. I need to go and find a swimsuit. I tried yesterday, but everywhere in town, but they, I tried so many on and they just looked horrible. So I'm hoping Sainsbury's have got some in their like clothing range. I don't want to spend loads and loads of money because I'm the sort of person that won't go swimming ever again. And we don't really go on holiday that often. So I don't really need an expensive one. I just need one for this weekend because I'm off to my friend's Hendu. Um, and there's like a jacuzzi and stuff there, so I need to find a swimsuit, that is the mission of the day. So I'm going to go before this intro is far too long and rambly. I'm back from the supermarket and I'm just shooting some bits for Instagram. I'm so bunged up again, it just comes in waves, it's really weird. I said I wouldn't mention it again, but here I am <laughs> mentioning it. I hope I haven't got lipstick on my teeth. I went shopping yesterday and came across this gorgeous set in H&M. I'm absolutely in love with it. It was a little bit expensive but I thought I'm going to get loads of wear out of this through the spring and summer and I'm going to take it on the hen do this weekend as well. Um, but I saw this online and I thought oh, it's only a little store where I live so they're definitely not going to have it. And this is the only set they had so and it's in my size so I couldn't leave it there. It's basically this two-piece dreaminess of cobalt, cobalt I can never say that, of cobalt blue and it's full of like little holes. The shorts, there's like lining to here and then the legs are holy as well. I've just got it on my trainers at the moment but I would dress it up on a night out with some like probably nude or black strappy heels. Um, I absolutely love it. It's so light and airy and the colour just won me over. Like I said, it was quite expensive. I think it was £75 for the set. You can buy them separates though. And I would definitely wear the top with some jeans on a uh, night out or like for a meal. Could definitely wear the trousers again with like some baggy t-shirts and trainers. I think they'd look cool. So I'll most certainly get my wear out of this set. But I couldn't leave it there. It's so nice. And I think dressed up with gold. I've got it on with my gold watches and rings. I need to paint my nails. But I think if you are going on holiday, this is such a lovely set to have. Um, I think with a tan, red lips on an evening out, hair up, it would look so nice. So, yeah, I've just been shooting a reel for that on Instagram, like a day to night thing. And then for the rest of the day, I'm just tidying up the house. We've had it all knocked out. I'll go down and show you in a minute the progress. The plaster is coming at the end of next week, I think. Um, yeah, he's coming at the end of next week, and then we've got to go kitchen shopping, so that will be exciting. Obviously, I will update you all when things happen. I'll show you the landing quickly, actually. So I'm stood in my like dressing room at the moment, and then you come out, and it's just hell. <laughs> got to finish getting this wallpaper off. The ceiling is being boarded, so it doesn't matter about that, but uh, behind this door, we've had to do a load of, well, I say we, I haven't. Paul's pointed it because there was huge holes in it, and that goes all the way down to, like, midway down the stairs. Uh, still got a bit more wallpaper to get off there, but it's just like living in a dust hole. So, yeah, exciting, but very, very messy. I'm going to go and get out of this and pack it away for my weekend and then I'm going to go and have some lunch. And back to reality. <laughs> I don't actually ever look like I do on Instagram. It's all a lie. Right, what time is it? 12.47. Let's go down and make some dinner. I found. Oh, shut up Siri. Not interested. Right, so this is the landing. We've stripped all down to here. Um, you just have to excuse the state of the house. It's ridiculous. 
So all this has come off. This plaster's got to come off here because it's all loose. And then we're having this door boarded up. So um, yeah, that's going to be blocked. And then as you walk into the house, this used to be a door and then there was a wall here. So we've had all that taken out. Um, had this kitchen wall taken out all the way back. This wall um, has stayed as it is, but the lounge wall has been opened right up. This was quite a small space. It sort of came to here and here. So we've got a big steel in there. So that's opened the lounge right up. Um, that's all got to be plastered in there. Basically the whole of the downstairs has got to be plastered. Um, that was the original door through to the hallway but because we've got this bit now there's no point in having a door here because you can just get straight through um so yeah that's what it looks like kitchen through there that's all coming out and we're having new flooring new kitchen basically just everything new in an ideal world we would have lost this pillar but um money just isn't going to stretch that far and this isn't our forever home so we thought there's no point spending loads and loads to get a steel all the way across because we're not going to stay here forever so yeah it's made a huge difference um and it's very exciting i'm looking at kitchens i'm thinking to do like a dark green or a dark blue i'm not sure can't make my mind up and then fireplace we're going to get a little electric fire and then it will just be shelved uh, kind of like cupboards to this high and then shelving up on either on either side one thing we do lack in this house is storage um, so yeah it's amazing how much difference that wall gone has made and if you can't picture it before this was the wall which all my dried flowers hung on right i'm going to make some lunch now i think i'm going to have scrambled egg and avocados on toast um and use my microgreens on the top i'm trying to get as much health back into me and goodness as i can Wednesday. I haven't picked the camera up since the last time I saw you, which I think was Friday or Thursday. Um, I did. I completely forgot to take my camera on the Hendo, and even if I had it done, there definitely it wouldn't have been time to film anything. So, yeah, we had a really nice time. It was just in like this big barn in Somerset. Great big barn conversion. It's got a hot tub. The rooms were huge. It was lovely. We just ate and drank all weekend. It was about, I think there was 16 of us, 15 or 16. Um, it was so nice. If you're looking for something to do for your hendo, then definitely recommend that. I think a lot of people do that these days rather than go abroad, um, just because it is so expensive. But yeah, loved it, such a good weekend. I am getting ready for uh, one of Paul's birthday meals. He's got three birthday meals this weekend. Just because we're going out with different people, we're going out with my mum and dad tonight, some friends Friday night, and then just me and him Saturday night. So uh, yeah, looking forward to eating out quite a bit this weekend. So I thought I'd just check in with you. I've just done my makeup, need to do my hair. I'm absolutely sick to death of this weather though. It's just so grim. We've had snow all week and today it's just rained so much and it's so gloomy and grey. I think it's the 16th of March as I'm filming this and I checked back on my uh, Facebook memories today and it was bright sunshine and I was out in the garden and it's just... Oh, a year ago today was so much nicer than it is today, but, um, yeah. Hey-ho, get my hair out. Just because it looks very strange. I'm struggling with my hair being this short because I've completely forgotten how to curl it. I can do, like, the front, 
and the top layer but when I pin it up like this to, to do the underneath I just can't get my curlers in I think the barrel's too thick so I need to change the barrel on it but I just keep forgetting um so yeah what have I done today um just like a houseworky day if I'm honest did a bit more food shopping this morning I went and got my mum's mother's day present um what else did I do I went to the dentist this morning because I haven't been for years um I think he was a little bit annoyed but um yeah I don't know why I haven't been because it's fine when I get there. I just stress out in the waiting room. Um, I don't like sitting there and waiting to be seen in any thing like the doctors, the dentist. I hate that waiting. But once I'm in, I'm always fine. So I treated myself to a new electric toothbrush this morning, some floss, some mouthwash, and I've got a consultation for Invisalign, which is so exciting. I've wanted my teeth straightened for years. I had a brace when I was younger, but like everybody i never wore my retainer and i wish i did my teeth aren't that bad but i've got quite bad like crowding at the bottom and they cross over quite a bit and then i've noticed this front one it's hard to talk and show you but it crosses over this one and then i've got a little bit i don't know if you'll be able to tell i've got like a chip tusk on that one which might look at some composite bonding when i finished uh, my Invisalign treatment so I'm booked in for April can't remember the date <clears throat> but uh, yeah that's really exciting so I need to just put my big girl pants on and get on with it I started having my teeth done ages ago when I lived at my old house and I had all my silver fillings changed to white fillings and then we moved here and I just stopped going to the dentist. Long story short, I've just been lazy and Covid happened and I didn't want anyone around my face. So <laughs> that is one of the reasons and I just shouldn't have waited this long to book back in. But they always look alright on camera, they look really white. But they have got some discoloration because I'm a massive tea drinker. So they are stained. Um, so yeah, I just want to basically get them straight and get them whitened and maybe look at a little bit of composite bonding on some of them where they are chipped. So yeah, very excited about that. Right, it's five o'clock. I need to get ready and head off for this meal. <laughs> been a little bit of a whirlwind few days we've had builders here plasterers um, electricians I haven't been able to whip the camera out because as you can imagine it's a little bit embarrassing when the um, house is full of builders but oh my god my face is such a different color to my neck I need some tan on me I just got up and had a little bit of a pamper I'm not complaining in the slightest but the house is a hell hole and it's like living in a dust pit um, we've been waiting for so long for this to get done, so I feel bad complaining, but I just wake up all the time feeling like all the dust's on my skin and it's all greasy and horrible. So yeah, I woke up, had a bit of a pamper, and I'm ready for the day. Haven't been able to get ready for the past few days because all of upstairs has been sort of blocked off because there's been plastering and stuff going on on the landing. So I've just been stuck <laughs> downstairs. So yeah, it's nice to put some makeup on. I had a bath this morning, which I never do. Oh, and I used this. I had a few bits sent over from Loxitan, which I'm so grateful for because they're one of my all-time favorite skincare brands, um, body care especially. And I've been using this for ages. They sent it quite a while ago, to be fair. Um, as you can tell, I've only got a little bit left, but it's the Lavand, is it Lavand or Lavande? CBD um, relaxing shower gel, but I actually put this in my bath as well. If you're a little bit achy or it's that time of the month and you've got like lower back pain and stuff, this is a dream. It says shower gel, but I don't see why you can't use it in the bath, I do. And it bubbles up quite nice. It's got, a, it's got lavender essential oil and CBD in it. I love it and the smell. If you like their lavender range anyway, you will love this. Oh my god, I feel like I could smell it and just go to sleep. <laughs> it's so relaxing, especially before bed. Probably shouldn't have used it in the bath in the morning because it's just going to make me sleepy, but love this product so much. And they sent over a few more bits as well, so I've got the hand cream as well that goes with that. This is a new range of theirs. 
um, this is the hand and foot cream, really nice on achy feet or like up the back of your calves. I find if you've done a bit of a workout and you've got achy legs, I've used loads of it and put some on now actually because I haven't put any hand cream on today. Their original hand cream is my go-to. I've been buying it for years. I've actually got it here. This is like my millionth tube. It's just their normal dry skin hand cream. I don't particularly get dry skin on my hands, but this is so nourishing before bed. I do like an exfoliating hand wash before bed every night with my, um, what's it called? Aesop exfoliating hand wash and then I put this on and just sit there and let it soak in. I love this product so much. Had it for years. This is turning into a little bit of a favourite um, but I just thought I'd pile these together and show you the bits I've been loving from them recently. I think this is the body lotion that goes with the hand cream. I'm not sure but it's their sensitive skin rich body lotion. It soaks in and leaves your skin so supple. I love this. I'll definitely be repurchasing it. It looks relatively full this but it's so crinkled and I shook it to death to get the remnants out. Um, I've been loving this. I use it every single day. And then they also sent this one to try which goes with that cream and it's the sensitive skin shower cream. This is more <clears throat> Sorry, still suffering with the old chest. Like it says on the bottle, it's more of a shower cream, whereas this one foams up quite a bit. This one doesn't so much, but it's so nice. I love using this in conjunction with the um, body lotion. And it's just got that classic L'Occitane like, smell, like that almondy. I almost think like, it reminds me of Play-Doh a little bit. If you ever, have play if you ever had Play-Doh as a kid, I love the smell of Play-Doh. But yeah, really nice almondy scent. And I've been using that to death. Not as much as the CBD, because I love the CBD one, I'm addicted to it. That's sort of my daytime shower gel, whereas the CBD is my nighttime before bed. And then another new range from them is their Herbe Pa, lots of turn at Spartium fragrance. This is so nice, I love the bottle. It's, like, it's just like a glass bottle and then this little plastic lid. This smells divine. Something that I wouldn't usually go for, I feel like it's quite a grown-up scent. I'm rubbish at describing scents, as you know, from my past videos, but I'll, I'll pop the notes and stuff down below. So it's really floral, pear-y. Um, is pear a word? <laughs> it really does smell of pear. I love this so much. Just a really nice, light, daytime fragrance. And then they also sent over the hand cream to go with it, which I haven't used yet, just because I've got two on the go, but Again, it's the same scent. I'm looking forward to using this. I'll pop all the links to these products down below if I can find them on their website if they haven't sold out of anything. But, but yeah, I thought while we were here, I'd just show you those and show you a few of my PAMP favourites. Uh, what have I got on today? I'll show you the plaster in. It's not overly exciting. It's literally just the hallway, uh, the landing, the ceiling, and down the one side of the hallway. Other than that today, I am just getting ready for my market stall. I'm really excited but so nervous. I've never done anything like that before. Obviously I worked in retail for years so I'm all right with people in general but yeah it's still a little bit nerve-wracking. I don't want people to sort of come over and look and be like oh that's horrible I don't want to buy that or oh my god that's so expensive. It's really difficult when you're like creating because I don't know what to charge. I know what other people charge but because I've got like imposter syndrome I think oh well, that's not good enough. I can't charge that much for my work. Even though like my reads and stuff take hours, you've got to factor in the fact that I've grown the flowers, sown them from seed, grew them all last year, dried them, and then made with them. But like, you can't really say that to people, so it's really difficult to know what to charge um, and what is, is a fair price. So if anybody does do markets, um, I would love to know what your sort of price point is. I'm kind of going for like, all different price points so it's fair um, and if people aren't interested in spending that much on my like big products that take hours to make then I've also got little things I can buy like my frames or my wedding confetti so there is the, the price ranges from like three pound way up to 60 70 pounds so I'm hoping there's something there for everyone this is really boring you don't need to know about that um, but yeah, that is what I'm doing for my day. I've got some bunches of alliums I need to wrap in brown paper. I need to set out the kitchen table to see what my stall is going to look like. I've just come down and made a smoothie. Oh my god, the sun. So bright. It's just a banana and blueberry one. What did I put in it? Banana, blueberry, chia seeds, 
cinnamon, almond butter, almond milk, <laughs> and collagen. Um, I use the Vital Proteins collagen. I've been using this for ages now and I've still got so much left. I forget to use it because I don't have a smoothie every day. But I think you can put it in, Baz is having a massive drink. I think you can put it in just normal drinks like squash or coffee or put it in your porridge. I just forget. There's 20 grams of collagen per portion. You get like a little measure in there. And I get the unflavoured one because I can't stand flavoured proteins. They make me feel sick. <laughs> Will anyone else chew their smoothies even though they're liquidy? <laughs> It's quite nice. I'd usually put local honey in it, but we've run out, so. But that's quite sweet anyway. I think because the banana was um, on its way out, it's kept that little bit of sweetness. Right, operation, sort this table out for market. I can't remember the measurements of the table that I've got there, but I'm imagining it's this sort of size. Um, I've done my bouquets of alliums. And they just look like that. The lighting in here is atrocious, sorry. Um, so I've got those. I screw all these last year. And then what else have I had delivered? Brown paper bags, um, tissue paper. I wanted this to be a little bit, I guess it goes with the logo. Um, I wanted it to be a little bit more green rather than, it's more of a eucalyptus green. I wanted more of like a sage green, but never mind. That's arrived. My stickers have arrived. Because I've run out, I ordered about, f oh, that's just an old sheet, but I ordered um, 50 more. I get these from Avery. They're really good, really quick at delivering as well. My brown tape arrived. This is amazing. This is um, compostable. I wanted something that wasn't seller tape. This is really good. Um, I just got it off eBay. I think that's everything that arrived, other than some postage bags. Oh my God, <laughs> this is what we're dealing with. I don't know whether I showed you, you showed you the house from this angle. I can't remember what I filmed and what I haven't, but yeah, this was my wall where all the dried flowers hung. So you can see straight through now to the staircase and then um, we've had to hide a load of wiring up there. But yeah, this still needs to be plastered, but this is the wall that Oh my god, it's so dark, bear with. It's still drying out at the moment. But uh, the plasterer came the other day and did that. And then all up the stairs. Such bad lighting, I do apologise. And then all up the ceiling. It's still got that horrible damp smell to it, in fact. I might open the window a little bit. Let it dry off. But yes, yeah, so much nicer up here now that's done. We've just got to fix this here where we had some wiring done. Get some architrave around the loft hatch and then change the carpet. We need to get a carpet, but until everything downstairs is sorted, there's no point in putting a new carpet down because it's just going to get dust and crap all over it. So yeah, that is the upstairs. I'm so happy with it. And I think this weekend, if it has dried out enough, we're going to get like a mist coat on it just of white we're going to do everywhere white for now i think i'm feeling very overwhelmed because the whole of downstairs is kind of unlivable at the moment and i can't even begin to think of what colors to do anything i think because now it's all open plan and i want a colored kitchen i'm going to have to bear that in mind because i don't just sort of want green kitchen units and then sort of like pink and purple not that i'd ever choose those colors but you've got to look at everything as a whole so yeah just it's going to go like a sort of off-white creamy sort of colour for now. This is my current setup. It's a little bit of a mess. I'm taking all my pressed flowers out of these envelopes. Why are you lying on a brown paper bag? <laughs> um, yeah, all my pressed flowers in here I'm transferring into my little frames, these ones and my stand-up ones as well. And then I've got some like bespokey vintage ones to sell there as well i love this one i really want to keep it for myself but i can't so um yeah got those to take i've got all my wreaths here lighting is not the best because it's straight through to outside but i've got one two three four five six i'm going to try and make a few more 